Nancy with Nancy's Nibbles of Life and I just got back from a wonderful weekend in Palm Springs, California. The weather was really hot but I enjoyed the time there. I spent uh, three days with my nieces. We enjoyed the pool, we enjoyed restaurants and dining. We also got a trip to Joshua Tree out of the weekend and if you haven't please check out that video and while you're there why don't you consider subscribing to my channel i'd like to grow my channel i have lots of fun content around travel uh, i'm on a weight loss journey with weight watchers there'll be some content about weight watchers and then just kind of life in general also some uh beauty uh talk and maybe even uh shopping and things like that but speaking of beauty I wanted to share with you uh, how I take care of my skin after hanging out uh, in the sun for a few hours. Um, I'm a woman over 40 and it's really important that we protect our skin from the sun because as you know, the sun can dry your skin out. It can also uh, increase the likelihood that sun damage will occur. And uh, we don't want to get those wrinkles uh, from the sun. We want to look as young as we possibly can for as long as we possibly can. So it's important that we treat our skin right. So there are a couple of things that I do after hanging out in the sun. And I thought that it would just be a good time, uh, maybe a good idea to share that with anyone else that uh, has enjoyed the sun this summer and wanted to take care of their skin after hanging out in the sun. So without further ado, I will present the video. But again, just a quick reminder before I go, if you like the content on my channel, please consider subscribing, liking the content, and leaving me a comment so I know what you're thinking and uh, we can get to know each other better. Okay, without further ado, here's the video. So the first thing I'm going to do here, guys, to uh, repair sun damage to my face is uh, get ready to wash my face using uh, my Cetaphil face cleanser. Uh, you can use whatever you like. Uh, I, I like the Cetaphil because it's odorless. It's pretty economical. I believe $8 for the bottle. But whatever you normally would cleanse your skin with or your face with, uh, you should use uh, on this step. Uh, of course, cleansing the face uh, gets rid of any dirt and grime uh, after hanging out in the sun all day, but also removes any residue sunscreen that you may have applied to your face. So um, just go ahead and wash your face using whatever uh, it is that you would normally use. So now I'm getting ready to move on to the next step, which is um, ice. I like to apply uh, ice to my face uh, after hanging out in the sun because ice will cool the skin and it also promotes any uh, puffiness. It reduces any puffiness. It'll uh, promote uh, any swelling, reducing the swelling uh, due to sun that's uh, exposure due to sun exposure um, and again it's just a cooling effect so um, now you could also use an ice pack you could put some ice cubes into a face towel uh, and then let that sit on your face of course for a few minutes but I'm gonna use the direct skin uh, contact with an ice cube because I, I didn't have 20 minutes to sit um, and let it do its work. Uh oh, slippery little booger there, that piece of ice. Um, but again, ice uh, will cool your skin down and reduce any swelling or puffiness. And like I said, you could also wrap your ice in a cloth uh, and uh, just apply it directly to your skin and rest you know, for about 15 minutes, and you'll see the same results. But again, I didn't have time to do that today. So now my skin is nice and cool. Uh, 
and uh, I'm ready to move to the next step, which is a wonderful face mask. Uh, I, I'm using here the Honey Potion Face Mask. Um, you could find this mask um, in the drugstore. I happen to find it at Sephora. Um, and this mask is great because it is hydrating, it's nourishing, and uh, it's renewing. Uh, you see that I'm using upward motions to apply this face mask. Um, again, I am over 40 and I don't want to add any pulling <laughs> down to my skin that's already happening naturally. So use upward strokes as you apply your mask. Um, this mask also has wonderful antioxidants in it and so uh, it's a great mask for um, after sun treatment uh, to your face so honey is just a great natural product to use uh, on your face because it speeds up the skin cell healing process so when you've hung out in the sun all day um, you know you could get damage of course uh, sun damage and again honey can't kind of speeds up the skin cell healing process so uh, I'm gonna allow this mask to sit on my face for a while and just rest you might feel a warming sensation with this mask because uh, it, it does have that property to it but. all right so uh, I've allowed the mask to sit on my skin for a while it's done its job and now I'm gonna go ahead and remove the mask and again I'm using upward strokes to remove the mask and I want to be careful to get everything off of there and uh, be gentle of course when you're using a washcloth um, but of course you want to be aggressive enough to remove any residue. Alright, so I'm liking the way my skin is looking now. It's, it looks hydrated. Um, there's a glow to it from that mask and of course from the sun. And so I'm going to move on to my next step which is uh, moisturizing the skin. So, I love using the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Skin Therapy Oil for the face. It's uh, specifically made for the face, and um, it's a very light oil. It smells really good, and uh, it contains vitamin E. So, vitamin E is used in many skincare products and uh, it's a great product because it has uh, anti-aging benefits to it and uh, other health care benefits as well um, and you know of course you could take a natural everyday supplement of vitamin E uh, but I'm using it here in this oil that's great because it's just really moisturizing. It'll give my skin uh, on top of that glow that I've gotten from the sun, but an additional glow. And um, it'll also uh, work as a uh, protection barrier between uh, my sunscreen, which I'll also apply uh, after I use the face oil. Um, but again, it's just a very light, pleasant scent to it and um, it is another uh, economical choice I believe that I purchased this from Amazon about six months ago for uh, maybe eight to ten dollars and I still have half the bottle so um, it goes a long way and I really just like it so there it is guys my uh, post sun treatment for skin care 
uh, over uh, for women over 40. Um, if you like the ingredients that I use, why don't you give it a try on your next uh, beach day? All right, guys. See ya.